The most important thing with maternity care is that women are under the care of a midwife and all women need a midwife and the midwifery care for delivery can take place at home or in a midwifery unit if there is a freestanding one or in hospital and I would like to think that we can provide just the most basic and but full midwifery care in the hospital unit but should there be a problem there are doctors around to help to intervene if necessary. There are some people who we would recommend because of complications have a baby in hospital. There are other people who would choose to have it. The underlying benefit is that if there were to be some reason that they would be better off with help from a doctor then they're in the right place to get intervention if necessary. I've got a blood condition that cause is cause my blood to be slightly sticky which means that sometimes it can clot so particularly in pregnancy that's not a good thing so for me I felt that I needed to be at a hospital. I'd like to think that the philosophy in a unit and what the midwives and what the doctors want is for women to have everything as normal as possible. And the sorts of things that we've tried in this unit is, for example, we have cupboards in the room so we can hide any high-tech equipment if it's not needed. With a hospital birth, it, you're not at home, but you can still make it feel home. You can take your own things in and taking my music in helped. The fact that we had that ensuite room and we had an area that we could use and we didn't need to go outside the room, it was our space, was nice. We're here to make everything as normal and natural and, and wonderful as it possibly can be and only to intervene if really necessary. It was the labour that I wanted because I did want a labour where I had minimum pain relief and in actual fact I managed to have a TENS machine. I think I had a couple of puffs on gas and air while I had was examined and that was it. <laughs> so I didn't really have much pain relief, but actually that was good for me. There are times that we know we need to assist the delivery and that means using either forceps or a von twos. This is um, a modern form of von twos. It's a disposable, it's uh, a suction um, equipment for delivering a baby and it's commonly used for assisted deliveries now. People can choose to have an epidural if they want to, if that's what they'd like for pain relief and or sometimes we will recommend it. Um, but if you have an epidural, they have to have a drip in their arm just to have some fluid and then they have the epidural which involves putting some local anaesthetic in the back and then putting a needle in. We try very hard not to give general anaesthetics to people. We try hard to use what's called regional anaesthesia which is either an epidural or a spinal. I've got diabetes so um, I, b women with diabetes have bigger babies so I had my first baby, she was induced but then I ended up having an emergency caesarean section and then my second baby um, we decided with the um, advice from the consultant and midwives to have an elective caesarean. The vast majority of um, elective and emergency caesarean sections are done under spinal anaesthetic so the woman's awake. It's an enormous advantage that if she's awake she's involved in the experience and her partner can be there. You can kind of like feel something pressing on your tummy gently but it's not painful and um, you know it's, it's quite comfortable really, you just can't feel anything. I couldn't drive or hoover or carry heavy things for a good four to six weeks and um, and then after that you know I was completely recovered I didn't have any problems. Often and perhaps most often with a vaginal delivery there's enough space and the tissues all stretch so there's no damage and um, no stitches necessary but there are times that clearly the um, opening to the vagina isn't going to be big enough and it might tear just to make room for the baby and sometimes um, it tears and that's fine and we sew it up and there are advantages and disadvantages to having a tear or deciding to do a cut called an episiotomy. We don't do them unnecessarily. Midwives are the experts in trying to protect the um, vaginal opening to try and stop um, any tears or damage. Um, but if it is necessary then it's, it, there's no harm in it. it easy to repair and then there's no problems with it afterwards. Our overwhelming desire is for women and their families, partners and families to have what they consider is a successful and happy outcome. I think the biggest thing is not to be afraid of having your baby in hospital because 
It's the reassurance that you've got all of the medical staff on hand to help you if you need it. And I did need it, so I was very grateful. I have given birth in hospitals twice, um, where I've had all the facilities and all the medical services there because there was a chance that I might need it. But both times I've given birth naturally without any kind of assistance. So you can still have all kinds of birth, whatever works for you uh, in a hospital.